Mountain Dog Gadgets. Live! Live and live. Here we go. Hi there. Long time no see. Yeah, it's long time. You know. Hi, it's Josh from BrownDogGadgets.com. Oh, Happy yeah. Wednesday. It it's Wednesday. We're Wednesday. Back. Wednesday. We're back. After a long hiatus, because we were doing hiatus. video shoots in this room and new had this fall season. Yeah, new. Oh, ooh, that's new right. Fall season, season two. Of Brown Dog Gadgets Live. Oh, we should have updated our video. Uh, then it could be like season two video. Then make a new video. You got it. All yeah, right. we got like a full room in here. No copper tape. Uh, no copper tape. Uh, <laughs> we're back. Uh, is our audio working? It's working good. Okay. I can hear you. So I'm Josh from BrownDogGadgets.com. As always, I'm here with Pete Prodell. That's me. He's our producer <laughs> off that side, disembodied Whoa, hand. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's one of those days. One of those days. Yeah, See, Cat Science Club is here. Hey, Cat Science Yay. Club. I'm glad, glad you're with us. Welcome yeah, back. so we need a video shoot on our new uh, 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 Crazy Circuits uh, micro bit compatible board called yeah. the Bitboard. Um, actually, Ben across the room is doing video editing on all this video we've been doing. Uh, it's been a it's been a fun time. That's why this room has been occupied. Uh, we can't do live streaming. So uh, we're actually going to show off a project that Pete just posted today, uh, which is going to be yeah. one of the projects we used with our, um, our our video we've been doing for Kickstarter, uh, which will be coming very shortly if you're interested yeah. in, in microbit and Lego stuff. Uh, but we wanted to show something off. And so uh, we still have the resources there. And it's a pretty easy project for either microbit or if you want to use the Adafruit Clue, which is what we're set up for right now. But let's go into this project right now. Oh, before we forget, yeah. Pete. Yeah. What? If people like what they see here today, wow. they can follow us on all of these social media channels. <whistles> press like and subscribe. Press, 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 thank, press. Thank you, thank you. All right. Should we show the what do you want to do? Let's just overhead shot. Let's go overhead. Overhead. Let's go overhead. First all and right. foremost. So what we got here is our automatic bubble blowing machine using maker tape. It's true. Yay. So this is available on browndoggadgets.com. As a project, we'll have our Crazy Circuits Bitboard here, which is necessary for this project to work. Uh, we'll be up for sale shortly on both our website and Kickstarter. Uh, but let's go over what this does. So what I do is you press this button right here, servo goes down, servo comes up, and the fan should blow, which it was doing before we hit start in this video. Our, our battery is still good. Who knows? We've done our, a lot of blowing with that battery. Our 9 volt could be dead. It was literally working like right before this, and I was like, oh, let's just test it again. Uh, but this is the project right here. Uh, it's pretty simple. We filled this up with bubble fluid and it blows bubbles. And in fact, you don't have to take my word for it. We have a video clip we can show. You said roll the video. Let's roll the Let's video. Roll it. Unmute you in case you want. Oh. This is from our video shoot. You can see, yeah, it's with a micro bit just blowing. Dip and blow. Wow, that's a. Like this, this is what you guys spent like a day doing in here. Ooh. Slow mo bubbles. Bubble action. So this video goes on for like five minutes, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it's 30 seconds or something. Oh, good. All right. Well, that's the video. Back to you. Back to over. Back to me. Okay. All right. I'm not in the corner anymore. Look at this. There's no little Josh over here. How do we get in the corner again? You got to. Hit, hit plus. Oh, the plus, yeah. There, they, oh, there we go. Let's get some green screen going for you. Uh, no, that's not it. Anyway. We're talking, Josh. I'm, we'll I'm here. here. Uh, we're worried about that later. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, so I'm Josh on a green screen. This is what I look like without bricks behind me. But so this project is pretty simple overall. We have one of our Lego compatible servos. We have a, a bubble wand from like a simple bubble blowing um little bottle kit thing off Amazon. We bought like a 10 pack, so we're good for a while. Uh, we've got a little tiny, this is a like four ounce cup. Um, I, they're like jello mold cups. Yeah. Again, we had a bunch of these left over from something ages ago in our, in our, in our warehouse, so we just found a nice shallow one here. Uh, we have this guy here, which is probably the most difficult thing to find, which yeah. is just a pretty powerful little motor with, and we had some fan blades around that fit on the shaft. Um, just a random motor we had, but we need a nice powerful motor was the thing we tried out several. Yeah. Uh, over here we have our uh, Crazy Circuits bit board, which is our Lego compatible um, board. Oh, you know what's going on, Pete? Green. You need oh, a green wow. screen. You click the oh, green screen. There, there we go. go. I was like, why is this? That's not green. Yeah. Well, we'll get... We're back. We're back. Things, you know, we just set live. things up. 
You, cool stuff. You guys are awesome. And wait, John Chavon Jr. is back Chavon. as well. Chavon. Be like glasses on. Like I'm John. Right. Chavon. One more for you, Josh. Steam Tech Sam. You know that guy. No, but he sounds like the kind of guy sounds that would love to make cool. this project. Yeah, right. By the way, Steam Tech, uh, tech Sam. Uh, Sam. Oh, my God. I'm losing my mind. I need more caffeine this afternoon. Uh, th- you can buy these parts on Kickstarter very shortly and our yeah. website. And same prices as Kickstarter, too. Uh, that'll be end of the month, uh, like a week or so. Yeah. Anyway, so back to this stuff. We got our little uh, bit board here, which is our Crazy Circuits uh, compatible micro bit setup. We got a little push button here to activate things. Got people walking in out of our office in the background going ding dong. Uh, and we've got a 9 volt battery here, uh, which is connected t- to our setup via a screw terminal part. Um, so, one of the features that the bit board has as a micro bit adapter is a built in relay. The relay acts as a smart switch that we can control to turn on and off DC motor projects or AC things if an AC one, but this is a DC one. So, yeah, so what we're doing is uh, controlling the 9 volt power to this fan right here, the little motor with the fan. You know, the, uh, it's, it's, gl- it's glued in. Uh, I think, yeah, we taped it in. We had a little tape, just to okay. fit snugly. There we go. Uh, yeah, so connected to here. So the uh, micro bit, or in this case, the Adafruit clue we have sticking in here, can easily turn on and off uh, this fan. That's it. That's what we do. We turn on and off the fan. Life is easy peasy. And it's good. So we're going to hit, as you saw in the video, we press the button. Servo goes down, comes up, fan turns on, which I'm pretty sure we're out of power <laughs> or something. It was working. Uh, it was working. Now, Pete here, uh, Pete Hello. put the time and effort together to uh, make a diagram and a write-up on our website, browndoggadgets.com. And here's an example of that. Um, it always has a nice PDF with that. So yeah. this is how we hook things together. Uh, there we go, yeah, which is on our website. You don't have to read it off of here. You can see it you on our website, easy. Much yeah. easier. Um, but it's a pretty simple setup. Most of it's just plugging things in. We have a little bit of our maker tape connecting the switch and connecting the screw terminal to this setup. And then everything else is kind of plug in or screw in. Yeah. Uh, you know, standard 9-volt battery right here, which is just actually also taped down into place. Oh, everything's <laughs> taped down on this table for me. Um, There's some gooey stuff stuck in the back. That's why. Oh. Flame Ben for that. Oh, it's Joe's Sticky Stuff, <laughs> yes. which is it's a product you use and people use. Um, so we're lucky enough to have available to us, this is Adafruit Clue, Ooh. which is like a micro bit, only on steroids. Yeah. So there's a micro yeah. bit's the kind of thing you'd, you'd give to a person who's starting out programming like here. It can do a few things, a few built-in sensors, a little matrix of stuff on there. The clue takes the same form factor and then just like pumps iron for six months and does not skip leg day, right. as the kids say. Right, right. Because it's got all the fun features in there. And Adafruit just started selling these not that long ago, um, which is pretty cool. And they're pretty inexpensive. And even has a nice little uh, screen here, which you can't see. But it does says, it says right now on here, it says waiting for bubbles. And when you press the button, it says prepare for bubbles. And we have a close-up camera. Oh, can we get the close-up camera going? Let's try it there. Close up camera. Waiting for bubbles. Waiting for bubbles. I kind of see that, but hold on. Bubbles. Waiting for bubbles. It basically says that. Yeah. yeah. And we accomplished this thing, same thing in our Kickstarter video and that video you saw before uh, with a micro bit. There's no reason you have to use a clue. Yeah. We just want to try it. Like, we're going to do a write up. Let's do it for both. Yeah. Um, they're pin compatible. Yes, that's so a nice part. Same form factor. Uh, the difference is, um, you know, part of the difference is the code. That's the big one. Yeah. Is the coding is different. And uh, so, yeah, for the for the micro bit, we're using yeah. uh, Microsoft's make code browser based environment. Oh, yes. That's a, the one nice thing. Thanks. The one nice thing about, yeah, about the micro bit is you can use Microsoft make code. Yeah, it's it's drag and drop makes life really super simple and easy. Uh, yay for all that fun stuff. And, like, and in our guide, you just <laughs> there it there goes. Go. Yeah, I, I like <laughs> unplug it, plug it back in, and turn it on and off. Uh, in our guide, we have links to codes for both there of that. See, so yeah, coding so, that. And so for the micro bit, it's literally drag and drop for this. And yeah. we actually link to the code that Pete wrote for both the clue or this. So you can just copy paste. Yeah. Or or so clone Josh, that. For the, the anyway. fun, so for the make code, you click on the link in our guide. It takes you right to make code. Loads that link. You can look at it and just download it and put it on your board, or you can edit it or change it. 
And then for the, uh, the clue, you're, you're using CircuitPython, and we have a link to our GitHub repository with that code. You can download that, you can put it on your uh, clue, and it's up and running. It's really simple to do. Um, either way is just fine. I think the hardest part for us was just figuring out spacing for things, yeah. like the spacing on which parts to use for Lego. We're actually going to update our, our guide to give you, like, this is the exact part we used here. Yeah. Here's how we suggest hooking up one of these guys with, like, the couple parts we have. It's two by two circles, Lego circles with an axle hole in the middle. Yeah. So this just holds down in place. And then um, we'll try to find a fan on Amazon that works. It's just a DC mm -hmm. fan. The hardest part for us was really finding a fan that had enough kick behind it. Because um, even with this little plastic fan blade, which is pretty common, yeah. we used to get these with a much cheaper motor. It was finding something with enough kick behind it to blow the bubbles. We even tried some um, like a computer, computer fan. fan. Yeah. Like it did nothing. And it just, it just didn't put enough. And that's, uh, those are really made for cooling, just moving air out, not like blowing air fast like this thing. So, but I'm pretty sure if you found those like decent um, little th like three volt hobby motors that everyone tends to have yeah. for maker stuff and put a little motor. fan on the end, or you find a motor with a fan on Amazon because there's a ton. Yeah. Um, it, as long as it has a nice little blow behind it, like, like physical air moving, it was good. Then we just had to make sure we got this to come up to the right medium spot, like what degree in the, in the middle. Um, yeah. in the sequence, because there's really one spot, two spot weight, three, you know, the end yeah. spot. It's pretty simple. And it, it works well. It works surprisingly well. We were very, very pleased yeah. by just the amount of bubbles that came out of it. Um, and, like, I have a I have a small child who has a bubble-blowing machine <laughs> that just, you know, blows bubbles outside because he's a little dude. Wait, uh, you're talking about me? No. Oh, okay. Or you're, not your cats, <laughs> nor my dog. I have a small child. Little, it's just a little child. Okay. Like, this, this. Now, uh, but he, he finds it hilarious. It is hilarious. It is. And this is just like you make your own bubble blowing machine, and for a yeah. kid, it's great. Now, in this situation with the clue, we're using a USB cable here for power. Because um, really, this is the, the 9 volts just powering the motor. Yeah. That's what it is. It's not powering the clue here uh, or our bit board. We're using USB because a clue can handle 5 volts and then also throw out some power to uh, this for, board. Yeah. But for our micro bit, we actually, when we did this in the video, we powered both the board, the micro bit, and just the setup in general, from just a two AAA battery holder, which we are including with our kits. Um, you could screw terminal, we have a screw terminal in the back of here too, if you have a two AA, two AAA battery holder set up. Um, just because we found that uh, these Lego-based servos tend to need a little more amperage than the micro bit can shove through itself. Um, I think they use pins max at about 100 milliamp, maybe, yeah. something like that. But we just never have reliable luck to power the servo through USB or the battery insert on the micro bit through the board out to it, which is why we just use another power source to power everything through the board. There's a hookup down there, two hookups, actually. Actually, plenty of hookups. Yeah, okay. there's we, a couple of hookups. We literally have we have a, a pin plug-in, we have a screw terminal, then we have like another five like other pin plug-ins you could yeah. also use. There's a lot of, or we could run power in from like a battery pack through the Lego yeah. slots. So Josh, the, yeah, the anyway. fun thing about the servos is you can power a, you know one or two, maybe three, from the built-in just you know with nothing extra. If you wanted to power more, you, you just have to add an external power supply that's powering the servos at like. Between three and five volts. Yeah, and it's not but tough yeah. to. At that point, if you're doing a project that big, um, yeah. adding a couple extra jumper wires, wires isn't yeah. a bad thing. We'll probably do up a guide that shows that too. So. Yeah, we've done a few things where we try to do a lot of servos, and we just know two works reliably well, three works yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, after that, um, our, for whatever reason, our setup just isn't awesome for it. Right. More than that, but that's a lot of servos. There are some really great micro bit um, accessories out there that can handle a dozen plus servos. Yeah. You, but then again, what are you doing that needs a dozen plus servos? I think Adafruit has a 16 channel servo. Well, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, for crazy the uh, walking arm wielding robot, well, maybe. You know, well, yeah, no, it's, 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 I actually five. looked at those boards. It's really cool. Like, it'll take one pin out from an Arduino and split it to like 16. Yeah. Like, control 16 servos from like one pin. So you're like, wait a second. I could get a bunch of those, control like 32, I know, right? 64, uh, yeah. 128. I'm just going up. Um, Josh, we've got a question here from Vasile Vinogradov. He's maybe asking what board we're using. Oh, so this this is either the uh, micro bit or the Adafruit Clue, and this yeah. is our Crazy Circuits bit board, which is an adapter to go from either of these things to Lego. Now we also have um, 
Arduino compatible boards yeah. as well on our website. We have our robotics board and our invention board, which are two Arduino compatible boards. Same kind of format like they this. They just don't have they don't have yeah. um, uh, relays in this. The one big thing on on here that we put on is a, a relay to make it yeah. uh, useful. Because a lot of um, micro bit projects out there mm -hmm. tend to use a relay with a small DC, specifically DC motors, seems like the yeah. go-to thing. Like you have a small DC motor and you can control it from here, yay, or like a buzzer, mechanical buzzer. Yeah. Things that you can't really run through um, through your boards because they draw right. too much power, but a relay works great. And this relay is at 24 volts at like one amp is yeah. like the max yeah, you can run off of it, which is a lot. And we have actually two spots on here to run. You could you could actually hook up two different things. Yeah. It's only one, one on and off, but it's, we just added two spots on there for I mean, the heck of it. This project, perfect. This literally is like <laughs> the best example because it's right. DC servo push button. The only thing we don't have is a sound effect that goes do 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 do. <laughs> I got sound effects too. Oh god, Pete forgot about sound effects. But anyway, this is the project. It's up on our website right now. Um, this is one of the many projects we'll be documenting that we've done video on, that we've done all this great stuff for this upcoming Kickstarter campaign. Now is the documentation phase. Um, but this is just, yeah, for the, uh, we figured do it for the Clue as well because it's such a fun project. Uh, but if you're into the Clue, you probably know more than just basic coding to begin with. Um, you know, Pete's bringing it up on, on our website right now, the yeah, bubble blower. Yeah, if you go, yeah, if you go to, uh, you know, browndoggadgets.com, like we're saying there. And there's projects in the top right-hand corner. Yeah, projects and guides, and then click bubble machine, and you know, search for bubble machine. You or it's under our, our crazy it. circuit stuff too. Uh, just is. crazy circuits. They just search for it. It's there. Or yeah. bubble machine. Yeah, Pete, Pete did a yeah. nice job. We put a video up. It's bubble machine. So nice. another question. Looks other people. We have so many people. Ron How many people? Are... Says Derek Fries, check this out. I don't know who Derek is. Must be a friend of Ron, maybe. Shout but... out to Derek, a bro, Derek. <laughs> Shout out. All right. I don't, I don't know. I know. It's got a whole like whole whole gathering yeah. of of Ron. Yeah, now that, that's the it's six people, which in the UK is all you can gather right now. So I guess it, where they're located. A fellow Z name. Yeah, there you go. Zimmerman. Z, 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 the ZD Z band, though. Yeah, that's pretty. Sure um, it's, pretty yeah. Cool, though. Yeah. Could be worse. Could be Zuckerman. Then you're at the very end of the Ooh, alphabet. Wow. If Zuckerman from Facebook came on our stream, I don't know. Mark maybe. Zuckerberg, you I, mean? Is that who it is? <laughs> I always say Zuckerman because it's funny. Zuckerman's favorite, a famous pig, was from Charlotte Webb. Who are those right? guys, the directors from Charlotte Webb? The Zuckers or something? Zucker Brothers or something? Zuckerman? The guy. Zucker? They did Airplane? Yeah, they, 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 uh, and like uh, the movie Spy with oh, okay, young Val yeah. Kilmer. Right. Uh, what is it? Uh, fried Greens or the Fried. You know, shoot, you know, what was it? It was a sketch comedy movie. Like, uh, oh. I, I forget. They made a bunch of good things. Airplane is probably one of the best comedies ever made. No cover tape. No copper tape, uh, right. because we use a maker tape, which is a nylon tape. You got it. Maker anyway, tape. so that's that's the project. We just thought we'd show it off because we we're just trying to get our live streaming set up back and going again. We had this cool project we just documented today. By we, I mean Pete. Right. Um, but uh, we should yeah. show the video. We'll show the video one last time. Yeah, all right. Yeah, video time. Here we go. I forget the uh, microbit also does like a little uh, animation on the LED matrix yeah. when you press a button. Um, because why not? Yeah, why not, right? I do like that angle. You, yeah, that's just my yeah. Dutch angle. This is what you Dutch embedded angle. for like three days in this room is, is video work on stuff. It was just all the bubble machine. There were bubbles everywhere. Look at the slow-mo bubble. 720p at, what is it, 120 wow. frames per second? Cat has, cat says he's making a, cat, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, cat says they are going to make a circuit board. We lost like half our viewers. Well, that's okay. What? I think we just like okay, done. We've all seen this video. Yeah, like we already showed. That. We're done. We're losing everybody. Right, we're oh no, we're back, back to ten again. I, oh. that, that little window. Oh, see Ta bubble. Natasha. See Natasha. She emailed me. We emailed yeah, her back, she, and she's watching. She, she Thanks, Natasha. Sound effect. Natasha actually has also been using our um, our cool bit board for some really yeah. awesome looking cardboard projects. Whereas everything we've been doing has been Lego based. She's been out there in New Jersey, the Garden State. You got it. Oh yes. Uh, to make some cool cardboard projects. She has three really cool ones, which we'll be putting videos into her Kickstarter campaign and showing off later. She's got a cool little interactive robot person. Mm -hmm. She's got a uh, gumball machine, a no-touch gumball machine. Right. And she's got a flying piggy bank. Fly uh, flies? See, I was, I was aiming for <laughs> flying toasters because that's just the, my favorite screensaver yeah. of all time is Everybody's flying toasters, um, which was when you paid for screensavers. 
back yeah, in the day. You had to buy them. To buy that. Or your for... screen would get ruined because it was a CRT. That screen burn was a major. <laughs> People don't remember how hard it was to have a screen with screen burn. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's the project. Uh, our, our Crazy Circuits bid board is coming up shortly in a Kickstarter campaign in like a week or so. Uh, as soon as yeah. we get everything. Uh, done up. I go back to writing my <laughs> the write up right now, but uh, we're, they're going to ship by uh, end of November. So they'll be uh, in people's hands by Christmas time is, yeah, is a goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially here in the in the states, unless the postal service implodes somehow. Stop, no. Implodes. Um, but no, we're gonna. Our big goal is to have them in hand and ship them out to especially the smaller kits that are going to be for home use. Yeah. Um, so people have them in hand uh, for Christmas, so they can do fun Lego based micro bit projects uh christmas and we'll also have micro bits to go with them if uh, you want that option as well with or without oh. a micro bit because some people have them already whoa okay. do you get a usb cable though or what oh oh pete <laughs> that's what i'm ordering tonight i'm ordering a ton of really awesome right angle usb i'm gonna pull this up here and show nice. we're on right angle usb wow. cables to go with these kits so you can just plug in and there's no cable strain i think it has to go the other way there we go you know, the right angle is better than the wrong angle there you go. We, we, we like it for cable strain. Like, it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't pull very much as opposed to coming up. It's not going to yank that off. Yeah. Things we've noticed from getting feedback from customers yeah. and occasionally breaking a USB port from some of our much loved oh. uh, things in our office. Oh. Only once, I think, do, do we break a board. All right. Yeah. Someone's going to answer that phone, too. Um, hopefully, <laughs> Andy, Andy will answer the phone. There he is. All right. Well, thanks. On that note, we're going to end this. Any questions, email us. And also, be sure to follow us on all these fun, wonderful social media places. Or just Twitter. Twitter. Like, seriously, follow us on one. We post projects a lot, and we, we show off cool things we do. We have just tons of videos right now of all the different projects we've been doing yeah. for our Kickstarter campaign. Like, check out this cool thing because it's sitting on our conference table. Um, but check things out. Also, hey, also, Pete, we didn't show off uh, DJ uh, Minifig, did we? <laughs> Yeah. We'll show that later. We made a really we'll, cool we'll that, uh, a microbit DJ. we got a lot of new projects. we got tons yeah. of cool crud we can start showing off because... Hey, shake. What's shaking? <laughs> all right. I know, we're, because, we're, why do we have all these cool projects? Because of our Kickstarter campaign for the Crazy Circuits bit board, which as yeah. soon as like we're getting closer to that time, we actually start doing it, we'll, we'll yeah. advertise the heck out of it. And it'll be at a discount um, for everybody, too, who wants to try it out and come with some extra free, freebies as well because we really sure. want... Uh, People to enjoy things. So we're done. We're out yeah. of here. Goodbye. Okay. Back to, yeah. All right. Oh, cat says. We missed you too, Cat Science Club. <laughs> uh, just actually, the sad thing is, Pete, too, yeah. uh, that we're end of the month here. We're gonna actually be down for like a little bit as well because we oh, are yeah. expanding our office what space because we have so much, so many pallets of plastic. And Thanks for watching. Please visit RoundDogGadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at Brown Dog Gadgets. Check out our live streams at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We'll see you next time.